Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of DevDrawer. Today we're going to be going into how to build shortcodes into our custom plugin. So we're going to keep everything together. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up our CPT file that we created last time. Um, and this is where we were able to create the custom post type itself as well as register the archive and the single page. So we're also going to create another function down here uh, that's going to be used for shortcodes. So let's say we're going to do shortcode, um, shortcode, and let's just say employees uh, for front end. Okay, so this is where our shortcode employees is going to go. And just to show you how that's going to look, I'm going to go to the administrator. We're going to click on just the, the I guess, the home page of this site. And inside of this content, I'm just going to go in here and edit this content and uh, just put something in so that we can, um, I guess, just display the, uh, the shortcode. So let's go ahead and remove all of these blocks because we don't need these. This is just the sample content that comes with WordPress. So let's remove all of the blocks that we currently have. And now we're going to add a new block and we're going to type in shortcode. And we're just going to add this shortcode here and then we're going to update this page. So now if we go back to the home page and we refresh, we can see that we have this employee's shortcode, but currently the shortcode doesn't do anything. So let's start writing the code in order to sh uh, actually do something with that shortcode. So the first thing we want to do is create a function. So we're going to create a function, and I usually like to rename my shortcodes the function name. So for this one, it's going to be employees. And then um, let's go ahead. We're not going to pass anything yet eventually we'll pass some attributes to it um, so let's create a blank variable we're going to call it string and just make that equal to nothing right now and then we're going to have it return this string variable and then once you get done creating the function you need to uh, use WordPress's function called add underscore shortcode and then you just pass the shortcode name or the shortcode itself and then you pass the function for that shortcode. So ours is in quote called employees as the shortcode and then employees as the function. So you can name this function whatever you want to name it. Um, but just to kind of show you that it works, I'm going to go ahead and do the word test here. And if we go back over here and refresh the page, you now see we have a test. It is basically echoing out what we're displaying here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull from um, a cu our custom post type. So let's change this back to blank. And then above it, I'm going to create the query. So we're going to do query equals new WP underscore query. And then we're going to pass an array to this. So we're going to do array. And then we're going to do post type equals employees because that's what we called our custom post type and then we also only want to get the uh, the posts that are published so we're going to do post status equals published or publish and then we're currently let's just say we want to get everything so we're going to do post per page this needs to be post with an s per page and then we're just going to pass negative one which means grab everything or else we could do a one or a two or a three or whatever it is and then we're going to do order by and let's just make them random okay so now we got our array um, no, that's not what I want to do yet is it yes it is okay so now we got our the query started so we're going to do let's go below our string we're going to do the the regular um, uh, PHP WordPress query half post uh, so if you're familiar with WordPress you'll probably know what this is so we're going to do the while loop so this is the um, the loop that WordPress uses so while our query query half underscore post 
and then we're going to do query the post so it grabs the post and then we're going to update our string and right now I'm just going to leave it blank so I can finish out the rest of this and then we're just going to do in while and then we're going to use the function WP reset query and then that's how we're going to leave that for now so this WP reset query is very important whenever you're doing uh, pretty much anything with a plugin or with a theme just because you want it to reset that WP query so that it's not taking other information that it's not supposed to so it actually closes out that connection to the database based on the query information that you pass to it so always use this WP reset query because it will help you kind of make sure your code is working exactly how it should be okay so what we can do here is I'm gonna add a um, it's going to be a period equals and that's going to add to the string so I wanted to add to the string each, each time it loops and we're just going to pass a link that goes to the um, just goes to each individual post so we're going to get the permalink we're going to get the permalink man my typing is terrible today okay and then we're going to pass the get the title and then we're finally going to close out that uh, that link over here so now if we come back over here and we refresh this page it should show two links so one goes to the employee one and then employee two so if we click on it you can see that it's actually opening up the page that it needs to uh, let's go ahead and add a break tag after these just to have those on here as well okay so there's also some other things that you can do with a short code and that's called attributes so what we're going to do is pass these attributes so inside of this we're going to do ats is going to be the variable that we're going to pass to it and basically these attributes is like whenever you have a short code you can do something equal something else and then that'll display uh, it'll be able to pass that variable to the uh, to the code so we're going to have to run an extract command and then the extract that we're going to do is going to be the short code attributes and then we're going to pass an array of whatever we want to send to it based on what we're typing in uh, so right now I'm just going to pass something like a count um, and then I'm going to give it a default value of negative one so if something's not passed it doesn't break it and then at the end of this um, extract function we're going to pass our attributes value and then finally close that out okay so now we can use this value um, so let's come over here right now it's displaying two of them but I'm gonna go into this page and instead of this employees we're going to make it say count equals one and we're gonna update this again and right now it's not doing anything because it's passing the variable but it's not using the variable in any meaningful way so what we're gonna do here is post per page we're gonna make that equal to our count value and then if we refresh the page you can see that now it's only passing one and since we have it uh, the order by is random it's passing one random one so um, if we go in here and we remove this count it should default to our all which would be the negative one there we go so now we have a working short code and you can create as many of these as you want inside of your themes inside of your um, inside of your your uh, your plugins pretty much anywhere you can interact with WordPress you can create the short codes to be able to do it so it is possible to do it this way where you actually add it to the page but it's also possible to do it inside of your code so let's say on the single employee page I'm gonna go ahead and click over to that one if I wanted to be able to run my short code inside of this page what I could do is something like this so you would do PHP echo do underscore short code and then you're gonna pass that short code inside of single quotes so this is gonna be employees is gonna be the short code that we're passing and then we can save it and refresh and you can see now that short code is available inside of our page over here as well rather than just being available based on what you input into here and you can also again pass your variable so we can do short code count equals one and then we can refresh this and you can see that it displays one random count alright one more thing that I can show you on this topic um, 
So let's say we want to have the ability to pass content. So let's say if you wanted to do your own custom header. Uh, the way you would do that is something like if you are um, inside of this page, we can do something like employees and then let's pass the header that we want to say. So let's say employees by name. So we can do employees by name, not short code. We want to end the short code of employees. So we can update this and then we go back to our home page and you can see it's not doing anything right now because there's something that we have to do different inside of our custom post type for the short code itself. Uh, basically we need to create the content that goes with it. So inside of your um, function for your employees or whatever short code you have, you're going to pass content and for right now you just make that equal to null just in case there's no content passed it won't break anything but what we want to do is actually be able to display a, um, a title that goes with it so inside of our string let's do the blank string first and then we're going to do this so let's say we want to do h2 alright so now we're going to have our h2 and then inside of this h2 we're going to return that content so let's do content and then our h2 and then now if we come back over here and refresh the page you can see that employees by name is now the h2 and then you have a list of the employees and then we can also come in here and you know change this put it on there do a refresh and that way we can control that and your variables also still work with it so we can do employees and then count equals one and then we update that and so we can still get one employee by and still pass the header that goes with it um, so it's a very versatile kind of code that you can use I highly recommend doing it especially if you're needing to do anything with custom post types it makes it a way it's a lot easier for the people that are using your plugin or that are using your theme in order to be able to kind of customize things and be able to put things you know where they want it to go at so you're not forcing them to have to build out this page exactly the way it's supposed to look here they can actually you know build their own page and then you can create multiple um, short codes that can pull specific kinds of employees or you know you can make it where it only displays one or it displays a list or it displays a random one so that you can have like a featured employee or something like that but there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do with short codes and you don't have to rely on the people that you sell your plugin or your theme to they don't have to know code so you can just give them the short codes that they can use and then they can pass it to the themes themselves okay well I think this one was short and sweet um, basically we just went over how to create a short code um, if you already knew how to do a short code then you definitely don't need to watch this video uh, but hopefully you did um, just in case there was something maybe you didn't know um, but if you're building out your own plugin you know having or building that your own theme pretty much anything that you do at WordPress can be made easier with short codes even if you're purchasing a theme you can create short codes inside of a child themes functions or something like that um, you can you know do some really cool stuff with your short codes to make your life a lot easier um, so hopefully this showed you something but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this tutorial for now I just wanted to kinda go over how to create and use short codes inside of your plugin so hopefully you learned something if you did give me a thumbs up you know if you didn't or if you have questions you know leave me a comment below so i can address it um but i guess until next time i will talk to you later